What's up, people? It's EK. I'm back with another rookie profile. Tonight, I'm going to take a look at LSU's Keishon Boutte. Certainly a divisive, uh, Boutte, uh, certainly a divisive, uh, a divisive prospect in this class. Um, you know, electric freshman season, and then just not much growth from there. Uh, listed at six foot oh, two hundred and five pounds. Uh, I got some plays queued up, so let's hop right in. So, um, one thing I'll say right now: I I think LSU deployed Booty terribly <laughs> uh, for the most part. So plays like this are an example of why I, he gets a big cushion. He's fast, four four fast, big guy. And yet you'd think they'd scheme him the ball on this kind of play, right? Where, you know, a little, whatever, slant or shallow post. And, uh, you know, you hit him with that in rhythm and it's easy gainers. It lets him work in space. And uh, they fail to do that consistently. And it's not just um, the quarterback here, uh, his, first, his first couple of years. It's also... Um, uh, Max, you know, it's not just Max Johnson. It's the same thing with Jaden Daniels. So I think it's a, uh, and it's really the same thing with the new coach coaching staff this year, Brian Kelly too. So maybe they don't have faith in him. I'll say, uh, his route running is not what I would describe as sharp. Um, he lacks, you know, subtlety and refinement, um, lacks deception and variety with his releases. Um, you know, sometimes effective on the releases. Uh, he's got a good chop move. Um, so this is another one I want to talk about. Um, here, he has this thing where he runs routes at guys all the time, makes contact at the top of the stem when I, I don't know how they're teaching him. I'm not a wide receiver coach. I didn't play wide receiver in the NCAA. Um, but it seems ineffective at times. Just here, boom, he gets bumped off his route. I mean, he's not getting the ball anyways, but, you know, if the ball is in the air there, and you know, lose the timing. So uh, we'll skip through a little bit. I uh, have some stuff I want to get to a little bit later in this game. Uh, here we go. So this next play, this is one of the first ones I highlighted. For me, this is a highlight and a low late. Uh, for booty um you know his initial route right just it's not getting separation you know even if the ball is on time there uh can be defense right and then you see the way he drifts downfield um talk about a lack of sharpness in his breaks he does that consistently one he's a little bit flaily getting into his break which i think telegraphs it and you'll see if you watch this carefully these dbs like they know when he's breaking, right? I think he kind of telegraphs it with his, uh, you know, his opposite foot. Um, and then he drifts downfield, really uh, giving them an opportunity to make a play on quite a few of these. But then here's one of the things he does best. He's got that awareness to move to open space when the play breaks down. And this turns into a nice gain. Uh, you'll see that a few times. Uh, he does the same thing in the Alabama game that we have on Dynasty Nerds from 2022. Um, you know, it's a good play, good heads up play. Um, this one, yeah, again, just, you know, doing the kind of the same thing on his routes, right? You'll see a little bit of flaily. You know, he's not getting the ball anyways. The DB is already moving. But, you know, he was pretty open on that one. Um, so this one, you know, kind of got the same thing going on here, right? See, that's what I'm talking about, the flaily. You know, I, maybe he's trying to, I don't know, faint outside, but just seems like they know when he's breaking. Still, if there's a ball delivered on time here, hits him in stride. Um, you know, makes a play. Uh, obviously, Johnson doesn't have that much faith in him. 
So this one, I think he he has a really nice release here. He shows off again. He's not pressed that much, um, but he gets pressed here, and he does a great job here. Look at that. So you know, feints to the inside, just a speed release. Gets the guy to turn his hips, the the DB, and then it's a really nice chop move to get free. And he doesn't always do that consistently, the, you know, using his hands that well. But in this instance, does a really nice job. And uh, he doesn't get the ball, but that's, you know, you get a 30-yard. Well, he does get the ball. You know, it's a nice 20-yard, easy pitch and catch. Uh, gets himself open. So I'd like to see that from him more consistently. Again, I said on Twitter that yeah, I think sometimes he's more effective against man than he is in zone because – zone he just running his routes at the guys he's not always you know finding the soft spots um he's not always being quarterback friendly against zone but there's some plays in there been being really successful against uh man or press man coverage um so this one you know wide open here taking advantage of the cushion it's not a nice place ball he adjusts well to it, in stride, tucks, turns into a runner. I mean, this is this is the positives of, of Booty, right? Um, really, you know, talented yak guy. Um, you know, they hit him in stride. They, you know, he was always to the primary read there. Get him the ball for a little bit of space and let him go. I just wish I saw more of this, you know, of Booty, but – Again, I don't, I don't know how much of it gets laid on, on him or how much of it gets laid on, on coaching staffs. Um, so this next one, again, he's not, not really getting open here. It's pretty, pretty well covered. He doesn't fool anyone with his release. Uh, you know, he's not explosive enough to really make the, the DB threaten, you know, feel threatened there. Um, yeah, I mean, Johnson could throw up a 50-50 ball. That's what he's looking for this whole time. Johnson's staring him down, and uh, he's well defended. Um, so, that's, you know, another low light play from Booty. Um, Oh, so this, you know, I highlighted this one. He can do this all day. He's fast enough to, you know, threaten downfield. His deceleration actually is pretty nice here. I mean, he's effective. He gets three yards of separation on this. That one's a terribly, terribly thrown ball. But you'll see this in this game and the rest of the game. You'll see this pretty consistently. Same thing here. Boom, snaps it back. If that ball's on time. That's a great play. So this one I have written down should be a touchdown. And uh, I don't know what the DB is doing, just watching the quarterback, but Johnson's playing heads up here. I mean, it looks like he tries to get it to him, but, I mean, tell me why this isn't a touchdown right here. I mean, Johnson gets mangled a little bit, but why was he holding it? Uh, you know. So, again, I, I think there's some narratives. We could give Booty a break on, you know, some of the lack of production. So here, the same thing. We're talking about him running the routes at the man. I don't I don't know if they're teaching this, um, but just, you know, you're covered at your break. Like maybe a perfectly placed ball there away from the DB is, is a nice play, but – You know, and then just because of the drift, again, you know, he's drifting into the other player. So, I don't know. That's what I'm talking about, him being a little bit rough against zone. There's another nice comeback route. Oop, snaps it in. Um, so, you know, again, I think I think those kinds of plays, he 
he's pretty successful on. Um, I think this is another similar play here. You know, come back. Nice contact balance. Touchdown, you know. So, you know, I think I think really he would have had a lot more production if they were, you know, attempting to scheme him the ball on these kinds of plays. Um so I had a few other notes on the Alabama game uh, from 2022, but I don't think it's worth getting into right now. I'm going to try to do another session on Booty later. Um, you know, if I can get some more all 22 on him, I'd really like some, some 2022 all 22, but it's just what I'm seeing. You know, I'm seeing a guy that's it's got some physical gifts um, and we skipped over it, but there are some bad drops earlier on this film, some hit him in the hands, bad drops. There's also some nice catches, um, you know, so highs and lows, right? Just, you know, a guy that I think if he had a little more polish really could have been a just top tier wide receiver in this class. Um, you know, I'd have to think there's a reason why he's not getting schemed the ball more. There's a reason why Johnson's not throwing it up to him. You do see him lose on several contested catches earlier in this game. Um, you know, it, some of them are just nice defense. There's one where the safety comes from way across the field and, you know, really it's in his blind spot. And there's another one where he throws it up to him and Bo Booty sees it all the way, but it's falling back instead of extending towards it. Um, so there's some technique stuff that I think he really just needs to work on if he's going to be successful in the NFL. That said, um, you know, the speed is obvious. The rackability is obvious. Um, while I don't think he's the top one or two or three wide receiver in this class, um, I'm definitely slotting him in there somewhere after downs, probably around where I have Hyatt. I mean, talk about two guys of extreme speed, but Hyatt uses his speed better than Booty does, or part of that's probably Hypo, right, uh, used high at speed a lot better than any of the staff at LSU. But, you know, Booty also has some, some physicality, um, not as much as I'd like to see at his size. You know, really, I want to see him, uh, you know, using his strength to, to make plays, uh, you know, hitting guys off the line. And I see him get disturbed. Uh, coming off the line more than I see him use his physicality to make a play. So that's where I'm at. I'd love to hear what you guys think of Booty. I think he's an interesting eval. Um, I think, you know, if you land somewhere and can get developed, there's still no reason why he can't be a high-level NFL asset. And I think for that reason, I'm probably putting him ahead of, you know, guys that are junior breakouts that are coming in to the NFL at 24, I mean, he's still a young kid. He's 21. Uh, there's no reason he can't clean up some of the technique issues and, you know, really become a star. So that's it for tonight. Good night, everybody.